Today I'm getting a scalp facial. This is very popular in Japan. Hi Theo. They call it a Japanese head spa. So I don't really know what to expect. I haven't washed my hair in 48 hours, so it obviously looks terrible. Just slicked it back and I'm getting ready right now. All of my jewelry is Missouri. All my earrings, this one I get a lot of questions about. It is one of my favorites. I just got these Pave medium hoops and I love them. The rings, lots of stacking. This is my wedding engagement ring. This is from their new collection. They have some charms with Matilda Jerf and two other influencers. Missouri is having their only sale of the year. It is happening this week. You can get 20% off with a minimum spend, which is amazing. I will link everything that I'm wearing and put all the details in the description box. <laughs> These are my favorite pieces for the holidays, whether it's for yourself or getting a head start on your holiday shopping. Hair is slicked back. Really need to get one of those barber brushes for slicking my hair back. I feel like it'll be a lot more smooth. Anyways, let's get dressed. I'm wearing just a really basic black long sleeve shirt and basic black trousers. I wanna wear something super comfortable, a little bit put together, a little bit stylish, kind of fashion-y if you will. I'm just gonna put on a hoodie. Hopefully don't ruin my hair and a blazer. This has kind of been my favorite casual put together vibe as of late. Okay, I got the time wrong, obviously. This is me. Um, I am gonna go grab a coffee and get some work done and then we're gonna go in. So what is a scalp facial? This is actually called a head spa and it's similar to a facial for the scalp. It's all about unclogging the hair follicles and microcirculation. So they do a full consultation and analysis. They do a scalp massage with essential oils. They do exfoliation. It's a fairly extensive process. It's about 90 minutes depending on your hair length. Like I said before, this was a gift from my mom. So this is not a complimentary service from them but I personally did not pay for it so we'll just see if it's worth it is it any good does it make a difference I don't know I've always been so curious about this so I'm excited to try it I have to coffee and then headed to Yoko's Haute Couture saying that wrong got all cozy their salon is really beautiful she also gave me some green tea. So first she did a full scalp analysis. I definitely needed to restore balance in my scalp. She did a Japanese dry brushing and a scalp massage. She also did a head and shoulders massage, which was super relaxing, followed by a pre-shampoo treatment. She did a clay scalp mask and then put the micro mist over and I sat under that for about 10 minutes before heading over to the sink to get really comfortable. So she wrapped up my feet in warm towels and put a blanket on top of me and got started with the two deep cleanses. She did a hair treatment mask, a vinegar rinse, and then also gave me an arm and leg massage. And she used a deep conditioning treatment on my hair, not on my scalp. After, my scalp looked much more translucent, which was really good, and there were little craters around each hair follicle. There were almost no flakes. You can definitely tell a huge difference. Okay, I'm done. It was honestly, so relaxing like i did not expect it to be such a relaxing experience like i showed you in the video they look at your scalp before and after and i'll insert the before and after photos here because they're actually crazy she was talking about how you want some kind of like translucency you want to have like a little crater around each hair follicle because that means that there's no like sebum or flakiness and then the nutrients can actually be absorbed properly. My hair feels really like silky. She was also talking about the difference between silky and soft and how one of them, your hair shaft is coated by silicone, which makes your hair feel soft, but it doesn't mean that your hair is actually like healthy and soft. If that makes a difference. Obviously, I'm not an expert in this. My scalp feels really good and invigorated. I would say that it's worth it, especially with the before and after photos 
that literally show you the difference. You know, you can actually see the results. There are a few things that she told me to do. Basically, I've been using the wrong shampoo. I want one that's not hydrating because my scalp is oily, even though my hair is like dry. And so you have to be aware of that when you're shampooing because you're shampooing your scalp mostly. She said it can make it look thicker, which is so nice, but it doesn't necessarily make your hair thicker, obviously. I learned a lot. It was really cool. I'm definitely gonna go back. So let me know if you have any questions. I will link my jewelry and everything that I'm wearing, everything that I talk about in the description box. I'll have all the Missouri sale details in there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.